because if you plow you play you plow deeper or you you hit the horizon below every now and then you take up a little bit of this material yeah. and then the beach horizon yeah well if you had this one this is e horizon the e horizon we believe yeah. it's yeah. e horizon yeah, yeah. this one thin e horizon mm -hmm. and then b8 accumulation of organic matter yeah there is also plastic horizon we can show yeah. you oh, very this good. thing yeah. here it's all over, it continues. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it is always exactly on the lower border of this oh, yeah. BH. Yeah. 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 Do you know why this is? Can we say it's BMS because of iron and it's hard? Because it's all over it when clay contains... When clay contains... Yeah, what you see there is iron accumulation with organic matter. Yeah. Somewhat when it is very hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, oh, here not so hard. Yeah. Here is very hard, eh? and below it becomes a little bit softer it's again. Softer, eh? yeah. Yeah. So here you have a zone, but it is very irregular with accumulation yeah. of iron and organic matter, yeah. which is part of the same process that has caused this hori horizon. Mm -hmm. But you were in the soil genesis course, you were taught something about polymorphic and monomorphic okay. organic matter. Yeah. Think, uh, oh, you didn't take that course. Yeah, we, we heard polymorphic and monomorphic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, these are types of organic matter that you see, can really easily recognize so the polymorphic organic matter which is here black yeah. is the organic matter that is reworked by soil animals which is so it is coming down it's leaching out it's accumulating here but it is reworked by soil animals more and activity and yeah and originally it is uh, deposited in between all the sand grains and it may jam the pore structure it may close a lot of the pores and then you get the monomorphic organic matter but often this monomorphic organic matter is again reworked until to the polymorphic organic matter yeah? and if you have got sufficient biological activity then it will be entirely like this in the end but usually here you see it's not the case and this is because this is such a wet landscape position it's not groundwater what you see here but you've got water stagnation this is high well the density of some of these places is very high water cannot percolate easily so you've got water stagnation on this level approximately where it the harder material starts. Yeah. Okay? So you've got water stagnation, which means a low redox potential, no oxygen. In combination with organic matter, these are ideal circumstances for the reduction of iron. Yeah. Huh? So iron can move a little bit downwards and on the frontier of the gradient of the of the redox potential you have the accumulation and there you can have this placing horizon. So that's a secondary phenomenon. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. There also we found some nodules. Modules, yeah. 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 Did you find them in this level as well? Yeah, below, below. A little bit level. below, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are not true iron modules. There is iron in there, but also organic matter. Right? Organic matter and iron. Yeah. And what about those alternating light and dark patterns over there? Here, yeah. this is alternate yeah. light and yeah. Well, this is that you're they are looking at the tertiary material, mm -hmm. which is ori originally horizontally uh, layered because it's a marine deposit. And you see here that there is this horizontation, this, this layering is no longer horizontal or not even recognizable anymore. This is because it has been deformed. And it, how it is deformed, you can think about. Okay? okay. How you, can, you can think about it. But part of this effect of this deformation is that you have now layers that are more clay, like the greenish one below, and layers that are more sandy, like this one, which is very bleached. And so this is. In the, in the marine deposit there were the differences already and they have been deformed and you find them back in pockets now. And then you have the phenomena that you have these color differences. Part of these color differences may be the result of some uh, movement of clay. That is possible. But some of the other forms like this one, this horizontal shape, they may be attributed to ice lenses that grew in this soil. This is some remnant of a platey structure, actually, in this material. And some of these were filled with ice lenses in some cold part at the end of the last ice age, and these grew and they pushed away the material. Some material was washed in from above, and this is how you can have these white parts in the profile. Okay. So that's the that's and the idea. Really. Yeah. More greenish. greenish, yeah. What would yeah. you yeah. associate it with greenish colors? What mineral? Glauconite. Glauconite, yeah. yeah. You're talking about tertiary materials, eh? and t glauconite is very common in tertiary materials. Glauconite is a mineral that is formed uh, in marine conditions. Okay. 
submarine conditions. So this is uh, to be expected. And when clock and weathers, well you get, what Professor Van Hans can tell you more detail, but you get the mineral called non-tronite, which, which easily moves in the soil with flowing water, so you can have some, some skin, some clay, some clay movement in this tertiary material. And it also releases when it weathers iron, and this is why you get the iron stains in this lower part of the profile. Professor, you can also see something with uh, the root distribution. Yeah? Here yeah. where there is, uh, after the plastic layer and with a lot of iron, yeah. you see there are no roots. Yeah. But when yeah. we go this way, there you see. You see the, the roots. Yeah. 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 This place is special. Uh, we think it is a frost wedge okay. of the last oh, ice frost. age. Uh, we thought it was uh, just a root. Well, yeah, there, there, there is a root in there because it's, uh, oh. it's, it's a weak part of the profile. So roots cannot penetrate in this uh, monomorphic organic matter. Okay. They concentrate usually on the polymorphic organic matter. This polymorphic organic matter, you can see it concentrates here as well in this zone. Yeah. And this must indicate that this relief was already there when this started to form, when this when this fossilization process yeah. started. Well, so if it's older than this fossilization started, then it will probably have the glacial origin because the ice age was before. Yeah. And this is probably a frost wedge. Frost wedge. Okay. And this frost wedge has, when the copper sands come, has blown in some of the copper sand material until this level. And the copper sand has a lower bulk density, a lower packing density, if you would like to call it like that. And so the roots can penetrate there. But you see here, they penetrate here, but they usually still concentrate yeah. in this zone. Yeah. Some exceptions. But this is because the density is not so high here because you are below this monomorphic organic matter there. You come in the parent material there. So penetration for roots becomes easier because in clay it's easier to penetrate for roots. Another At least when there is swelling and shrinking and uh, like yeah? Another thing that we were doubting because uh, we thought we could use uh, maybe the H, L and uh, F horizontal differential the type of organic matter. Yeah. But, uh, we could not actually make it, so can you help us? Yeah, but you don't have to call, this is just a BH horizon, yeah. BH, if you want BHS, if you think there is iron in there, but you would need analysis to prove that. Uh, yeah. But it is, you are sure this is a BH horizon, organic matter is high, and this you could call a BHS, because you have got, uh, it's, it's yeah. shallow, eh? but, but it is uh, this zone, let's say, where it is really hard, there is iron yeah. and organic matter accumulation. And then you can say, yeah, there is the iron pen here. The so place. this is fossilization process. This is fossilization process. Yeah. Yeah.